What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Notre Dame versus Oregon State college football matchup going down Friday, December 29th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between... Notre Dame and Oregon State, and it is a matchup that has been decimated by transfers. Um, we're going to go into it just a second. You had uh, Notre Dame come into this one with a record of 9-3 and three on the year, both straight up and against the spread, while Oregon State finished the year 8-4, and four, straight up 6-6 six and six against the number this season. Now, I'm not going to go into uh, into how much I don't like the transfer portal. Uh, you know, unlike Mitch, we've if you watch some of the, uh, the the college football videos here at Pick Dogs, you know some of our stances on it. But the reality is, is that this is a, a game that exemplifies, you know, how much of, of an effect uh, the transfer portal takes on these bowl games. It was tough enough to try to, you know, peg some of these games due to opt-outs with guys preparing for the draft. That's always been a thing. But now the scale of the effect that the transfer portals had, really, you're starting to see it. Uh, between, you know, and this is, like I said, this is a perfect matchup to, to show that. The transfer portal for Notre Dame, you have a pair of your top, I should say three of your top receivers, Rico Flores, Tobias Merriweather, Chris Tyree, all in the portal. One of your top tight ends, Holden Stays, is in the portal. Uh, you're starting centers in the portal, uh, a defensive end, two safeties, a defensive lineman. Opting out, most notably Sam Hartman, starting quarterback for the Irish. He's opting out to prepare for the NFL draft. Um you got a linebacker, Maris Leofau. He's opting out a couple of offensive linemen. Audric Estime, one of your best running backs, he's opting out. Um, there's a couple of other players that will play. Um, Xavier Watts, uh, he's, he's confirmed he'll, he'll play in the Sun Bowl uh, in the safety, uh, excuse me, as a safety for, uh, for Notre Dame. Defensive tackle Howard Cross said he's coming back next year. But again, uh, just a massive amount of, of loss for uh, – for Notre Dame, and if Estime and all, all decide to sit, well, Notre Dame's down eight offensive starters from at one point earlier this season. Mitchell Evans lost for the year at tight end for the Irish as well. On the other side for Oregon State, starts at the top. You got DJU starting quarterback. He's in the transfer portal. Backup Aiden Childs in the portal. Um, ben Good uh, Gold Branson will start. Now the thing about Gold Branson is that he's at least seen. Some starting action for Oregon State. He was the starting quarterback for the final eight games of the 2022 season. But you lose your st your starting linebacker, your leading tackler, uh, Easton Mascarenes Arnold, uh, Achille Arnold in the secondary. You lose your starting kicker to the transfer portal as well. Um, one of your best receivers in Anthony Gold. I hate to just name names, but this is just to show you guys how much this this game is you know has has seen the transfer portal affect it. It is so hard to try to you know pick on a side here i would lean towards oregon state just because a notre dame has lost so much from a team that you know had so many ups and downs and yeah finished with nine wins but still it felt like a bit of a you know a, a fight to get there and not only that they have experienced quarterback playing go branson but i think the better play for me here is the over four excuse me the under 41 and a half I just don't see where the points are going to come from, in all honesty. I think that's just the long and short of it. I could easily see this being you know, a first to 20 wins kind of game if we even get to that point. This is going to be probably one of my least favorite bowl games of the entire bowl season, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, but for me, it's just a case of, like I said, lack of production, a ton of unknowns, a ton of question marks in this game. Much better bowl options to bet on on Friday, in my opinion. But for this one, I'm going to stick with the under 41 and a half. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.